Nisan Terra owners in Thailand, China, Vietnam, and fellow owners here in the Philippines to car enthusiasts who's planning to upgrade the fog lamps of their car, I hope this video can guide you. Yes, finally, I can start this project, which is I'm planning for almost two years now. This is the stock reflector fog lamps of my Nissan Terra. I love driving at night. Yes, it is calming and relaxing because there are less cars and pedestrians on the road. However, Philippine roads are known to be dimly lit and even on urban roads. My car's headlights are perfectly bright. Oh yes, they are bright compared to a halogen. But the thing is, I need more light. Since most of the roads here in the Philippines is topped with an asphalt, the most exciting part when driving at night, when it is raining. It is giving me an impression that my headlight is off. I have difficulty seeing what is ahead. The best way to solve this problem is to upgrade my car's fog lamps instead of installing an auxiliary LEDs. Plus, I'm keeping the car's OE look. This is an angled bi xenon projector fog lamps. I will pair it with a dual color LEDs, yellow and white. I will discuss more about these fog lamps and bulbs on my next video. There are two options to install. First option, getting under the front bumper. And the second option, access through the side behind the front fenders. For the second option, here are the list of parts that I need to remove to access the fog lamps. Unscrewing the fender liner without removing the tires is not possible. Due to the limited clearance, it will be difficult to take the fog lamps in and out. Since I don't have a jack stand for safety and I don't mind getting under the vehicle, I went to option number one. Now let us begin.
this is the orientation of the projector lamps once installed. There are alignment tabs on both brackets and a slot guide on the bottom. The same with the stock reflector fog lamps. This is the vertical beam adjustment knob. The difference between the stock and the projector adjustment knob on the stock it is positioned at the bottom for easy adjustment access, while the projector fogs are positioned on top. More about adjustments on my next video. This is the stock H11 12 volts, 55 watts halogen bulb. These are the fog lights bumper mounting bracket. More about these wires soon. The H-type socket adapter are already installed and secured. The lumps comes with a silicon adapter in case a D2H HID xenon bulbs will be installed. To be able to lock the bulbs properly on the projector, the rubber seal should be perfectly tucked. Otherwise, I can't turn and lock the bulbs. I'm ready to mount the projectors. Tighten the bolts and plug the power supply using the original wiring harness. Before I head on to the other side, I will adjust the vertical beam alignment of the projector fogs against the stock fog lamps on the left side. By doing this, I will have a good reference and it will be my guide in case I need to adjust the beam farther. Since I don't have a wall in my garage, I will be using this folded box. To adjust the beam towards the car, Turn the knob clockwise. To adjust the beam farther from the car, turn the knob counterclockwise. Since the projector light is up, it means far from the car. I need to turn the knob clockwise to bring the beam down. I will do the driver's side and all the process are the same.
Oops, the left bulb didn't light up. All I have to do is unplug the bulb power socket, turn the socket, and plug it again. I know it is safe since the bulb has a driver. This is how the projector looks once it is installed. I tested the alignment against the real wall. You can see the big improvement on the light output, plus an excellent cutoff, making the light output cleaner and uniform. This is an easy DIY project. See you on my next video, I will do the beam adjustment and details of the bulbs and projectors on my next vlog. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe everyone.